going to make some chocolate chip cookies. I have one and a half cups of either margarine or butter, or you can do a combination of margarine or butter. And I just soften that a little bit in the microwave because I want that to cream together with my sugars. And I have one cup of white sugar and one cup of brown sugar. So we're just going to cream that together. They're just so easy and basic. You can always alter them a little bit if you want to change them up. But it's always a great basic recipe. We're going to also add in two eggs. I have half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons vanilla extract. Come take a look at this. Once we've got that mixed, I'll add in my chocolate chips. I got two cups of chocolate chips. All right, and then we have three and a half cups of flour. You want to make sure all the dough comes together, like so there's no flour left on the bottom of your pot. So just keep your eye on the bottom until you see it starts to come clean on the bottom as well. There's no more dry flour down there. And that means we're all mixed up well. So this is your basic chocolate chip cookie dough. So we're going to get the mixer out of the way and then we're going to roll these out. I'm using my 1 and 5 8 inch cookie scoop for my cookie dough. And I like to flatten my cookies a little. I just find they bake a little bit more even that way rather than letting the oven try and make them flatten. And we're going to put this in a 375 degree oven for 10 minutes. You don't want to over bake them. You still want them to be a soft, chewy cookie. So 10 minutes, you'll have to play with your oven a little. You still want them to be golden, but you don't want them to get too dark. So I'll show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. Cookies out of the oven. They are lightly brown around the edges. You don't want them to get too dark because you want them to still be a little bit chewy. So let them cool on your cookie sheet for a couple minutes first before you put them on the cooling rack because you don't want them to get all warbly and fall through their cracks on your cooling rack. So cool them down a bit, transfer them, give these ones a try, chocolate chip cookies, probably one of the best out there. So there's the recipe.